you wanted me to begin by talking about giving a brief summary of what I said yesterday. I was looking at the possibilities for dialogue between Western ethical theory and Buddhist theory, and I was arguing both that the conditions for dialogue are met, namely that there's enough shared background and enough distance to make dialogue both possible and worthwhile, and enough mutual openness to make dialogue make sense. And I was suggesting that Buddhist ethical theory can make certain contributions to ethical discussions in the West, in particular, more attention to what I call the input side of ethics, that is to the cultivation of moral sensitivity and moral perception to complement the Western emphasis on action, duties, rights, and so forth. Um, a different understanding of moral agency, one based more on interdependence than on, than on autonomy, which strikes me as more realistic, and a shifting of the burden of proof from the ethicist to the egoist in asking the question, why be good? Um, suggesting that that's always a problem for Western ethics, given a conception of rationality that builds in narrow self-interest and a conception of morality that um, involves the abandonment of narrow self-interest and so a kind of tension between morality and rationality that I see is resolved better um, in the Buddhist tradition. I also suggested near the end that the Buddhist ethical tradition can benefit from the Western ethical tradition um, in areas such as environmental ethics, feminism, human rights, and a variety of areas in the public domain um, that get very little attention um, in Buddhist theory. So what I was trying to do was to explore one domain of interreligious and cross-cultural dialogue, that is the domain of ethical theory, and suggesting that that's actually a very fruitful domain uh, for this kind of dialogue. I think a couple of talks that we heard yesterday um, stand out as um, extremely instructive. One of those would be Bhikkhu Bodhi's talk that really added models of um, Buddhist adaptation and understandings of Buddhism in the modern world and a bit more nuance to the kind of tension between traditionalism and modernism in, in Buddhism and showed that there's actually uh, maybe a third way to think about that. And the other was Sally King's talk. Um, which really explored the challenge uh, to Buddhism um, that's represented in analyses of ethics such as those of Emmanuel Levinas that emphasize the importance of the recognition of difference, of otherness, of what I call the second person to moral reflection, um, as opposed to Buddhist emphases on commonalities and a kind of expansion of the first person. I thought each of those was really interesting because it shed, um, because it, it, it demonstrated the ways in which the dialogue is both more complex than we thought, but also perhaps more hopeful than we thought.